Hi, good evening. Hi, Katie. How are you? Hi, I am fine. And you? Good. How was your day? I had a great day. Okay, that's nice to hear. Is it raining right now in your house? No, it's not raining. Okay, where do you live? Do you live in San Salvador or do you live anywhere else? No, I live in La Union. <gasps> La Union! Wow, my, yes. fam my family is from La Union, from Bolivar. Oh. Bolivar, I think. I haven't been oh, there. I live in Poloros. Where? Yes. Where do you live? Uh, Poloros. Poloros. I am Poloros. from Poloros. Ah, okay. Yes. Do you and know? Is, is the weather hot? No, I don't know Poloros. But one day I will visit you, okay? And I will get to know the city. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Maricela, good evening. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Fine, How thanks. You? How was your day? Um, tired. It was tired. <laughs> um, I just you... finished uh, um, no, doing exercise. Ah, okay. Nice. nice. <laughs> so I feel tired and sleepy, okay. but I'm here. Okay, great. Are you from San Salvador or are you from another department? No, San Salvador. Ah, okay. Is it raining in mm -hmm. your house or not raining nearby your uh, house? No. It's not yet. Not raining. Okay, not go yet. For it. Brenda, good evening. Samuel, good evening. How are you guys? Yeah, I'm pretty good. And you? Good. How was your day? How was your shift? Oh, it was. It was good. Okay. Samuel, good evening. How are you? Hi. Hi. Uh... I'm good. It was uh, the day was very tired because I stayed work in, in home at home. Mm -hmm. So okay. I I have to to do many many things uh -huh. because I need to connect to uh, remotely the my clients because I, I work in freelance. I, okay. I have As a freelancer. Yeah, uh -huh. the freelancer. So freelancer. Mm -hmm. I need to stay to connect to internet. Okay. Okay. Say stay, stay connected on the internet. Okay, very good. Thank you. Samuel Luis, good evening. How are you? Fine, fine, Josh. Thank you. Okay, how was your day? Um, I'm busy, really busy. Busy? Uh huh. Busy. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Super. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining in. So, can you guess what is going to be our topic today, based on the platform? Can you guess what are we going to be talking about today? Pick a guess. Try to guess. Infinite and gerund? Mm, no. Maybe. <laughs> if you follow the sequence of the platform, what do you think comes next? Um, maybe some reading. Subject. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Comprehension. Very good. We have a little, a little bit of reading comprehension. But before we go into that little comprehension, reading comprehension, you can open up your platform. That way you can check it. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about the topic, which is neighbors. Are you a good neighbor, guys? Are you a good neighbor? I think so. Uh huh. Yes, I have a good neighbor. Yeah. Are you a good neighbor? You are you a good yeah. neighbor? Yeah. Tell yeah. Me, tell yeah. me three reasons. Tell me three different reasons why you consider that you are a very good neighbor. No, I know that a good neighbor. I am I am noisy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because all the old people we they know you and and the people 
we done to make some big noise. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. And the other is uh because the 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 other the other people mm -hmm. say uh, something uh, about the, the 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 about me is the 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 words they say is good. Ah, okay. So they always speak good about you because you are a very good neighbor. Yeah. Okay. But remember, tell me three characteristics that makes you a good neighbor. For example, I am a good neighbor because I always say hi to my neighbors. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. I help them when I can. And I try to respect their spaces and have everything in order in my space. That's why I consider I'm a very good neighbor. What about you? Give me three characteristics that makes you a good neighbor. I think I'm a good neighbor because I'm not really noisy. Okay. Um, also, I don't put the my garbage in whatever place. I just use the, the right place at the end of the of the road. Okay. Um, and the last one. Usually when I go outside, I always say hello or how are you to my neighbors. Okay. So you always greet. That's when we say saludar, we always say greet. So you always greet your neighbors. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, bye, see you later. Okay. That, those are called greetings. So we always greet our neighbors. Okay. Very good. Anybody else? What makes you a good neighbor? Because in this situation, in the for the quarantine is a uh, we are we are in in the family a good neighbor because uh, we give the the other people, for example, the food or something. We we have a lot. Mm -hmm. we sharing with them uh-huh very and good uh-huh that makes you a good neighbor okay yeah and the other is uh when the other people uh, have a problem for the the um, in the house uh, for example in this situation for the raining the mm -hmm. the, the the water is the, Due to the, the storms, mm -hmm. yeah, for due the, to the weather conditions, mm -hmm. is that problem because mm -hmm. in the what did you say, techo roof inside inside the house is yeah. ceiling, but outside yeah. the house is roof. So it all depends oh. what you want roof. to say. Techo techo interno inside is ceiling, but outside is roof. Is roof? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Is the 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 roof is a uh, Maybe it's a a lot a lot stretch mm -hmm. in that in that in that it is problem because the water is is down to the inside to the house inside the house okay yeah, yeah. Inside the house. so you need good neighbors to support each other yeah yeah mm -hmm. and okay. the other the other is a uh, we we clean the 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 the, the space mm -hmm. and the, the the space uh, for the next to the the house or the other house or our, our house mm -hmm. that's very good that's very good now that you said uh that you clean how do you guys call that part of your house that you clean outside in spanish i think it's called acera how do you say acera in english you guys know? Uh, no. Okay, it's called sidewalk. Uh, sidewalk. Sidewalk. Uh -huh. So, it cleaning, so you broom because barrer is to broom. So, you the action is also, I mean, escoba is broom and barrer is also broom. So, you could say you broom the sidewalk, like the space where you live. I have a sidewalk yeah. or. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the case is we live in the uh, passage or ah, passage. Okay. It's just street. In, in English, street. there's no, uh -huh. in English, there's no 
pasaje, senda, avenida, block, can, eh, you know. Street, street. 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 Uh -huh. Avenue, street. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Aha, uh -huh. you know what? Now that you're saying about that, I have a good neighbor. Two houses from my house. I have a big almendro tree outside my house and I love the shade because it's big. So the almendro trees, as you know, have a lot of leaves. So sometimes I broom my I broom my house, my sidewalk, two times in the morning and in the afternoon. But I have a neighbor who brooms three houses, her houses, her house, and two more. So I think she's a very good neighbor because every time she goes out to broom, she brooms the other houses too to help the neighbors because the leaves always fall on their sides. Yeah. I feel bad because it's it's not my fault, but it's the tree so big that it has a very nice shade. So it's a good yeah. neighbor. Mm -hmm. Okay, very yeah. good. Anybody else? What makes you a good neighbor? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Other characteristics? Who wants to share? Mm -hmm. uh, I had a good neighbor. They are uh, very friendly. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, they can share different moments. For example, Paris. Uh, we can we may um, food and can share different moments and going out to others place. Uh, they are hard workers. Hard workers. Uh -huh. Now yes. that you say that, Katie, and I want to ask everybody, it, everybody in the class, do you all are from San Salvador or are you from outside San Salvador? If you are from outside San Salvador, raise your hand with your emoji. Are you from outside your, your San Salvador? Or only Katie? Katie is no. from Me. Leon. Me, teacher. Where Me. are you from, Flor? San Vicente. Okay, San Vicente. We're going to be talking about San Vicente and La Unión. Anybody else? San Miguel, Sonsonate, Huachapan. Nobody else? No? No. Okay. No. Why I wanted to ask you guys this is the following. In San Salvador, we have different traditions than in San Vicente, in San Sonate, San Miguel. You know that, right? So what happens? What is the difference between neighbors? For example, Flor just, uh, I'm sorry, Katie just mentioned something. Neighbors in La Unión share food, fruit. They go to the neighbor, hey, here, I bring you these tamalitos and I bring you these mangoes and I bring you, so people yes. are very close. In the city, people, not everybody, but some people do not know their neighbors because they're always working or because, I don't know, many reasons. What do you guys think? Yes, so context. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what's the difference? Um, because the the difference I think is about the 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 outside San Salvador is uh, because work in very uh, so close uh, between in the San Salvador is for example the house the old time is empty because all people is not staying oh. at home and in the other case is always staying home because or or the other reason is the the work they do is uh, about the the uh in their own business like they work in their own yeah business. Uh -huh. or business yeah, in their own business like they have a store or they sell um they go and they are since they are outside the the city they work close so everybody knows everybody right yeah. and they can even walk to their job and come back right yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay very good uh -huh. So there's it's different because it's different because it's more like cultural. So more in in the city, people work more and they spend more time home and they work far. So they're always driving, takes in traffic. That's why they're never home. So they don't get to know the neighbors. Versus being outside the city, everybody knows everybody. What do you think is better, 
neighbors in the city or neighbors outside the city? What would you rather? Neighbors in the city or neighbors outside the city? Neighbors I see outside in, the city. Uh, yeah, I, outside I, I, <laughs> yeah, I have. Angles 24 7. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because the people are very friendly and sociable. Yeah. That's true. People are friends. People yeah, but are there friends. are many so reality. There are many gossip. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, but ah, that, no. okay. <laughs> but Maybe. everybody, everybody knows about everybody. everybody. Okay. <laughs> well, in the city, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Everywhere, right? It, it's more common. Uh, <laughs> in El Salvador, in general, <laughs> we are very communicative. We like to talk yeah. about everything. It's true. Various topics. It's true. <laughs> okay thank you guys okay let's do a little bit of reading let's go ahead and i want you guys to help me read the following i i pasted the article here so you don't have to look at your screen and it looks bigger who wants to help me read neighbor versus neighbor okay antonio go me? ahead no okay. Ah, okay and then you you can go ahead marcel the second paragraph okay one paragraph each so you can participate okay let's start with okay. antonio. antonio the first paragraph please uh-huh What will you do in each situation? Uh, the first one says the woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. Okay, let's stop there. The woman okay. in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. So I imagine, do you have neighbors that play instruments all day? Like, for example, do you live next to La Raza Band or Los Red or, <laughs> I don't know, Marito Rivera? Do you have any neighbors who are actually singers or, or, or they're actually uh, artists? Performers? I am this neighbor. Uh huh. <laughs> Samuel, you are that type. You're the neighbor. neighbor. Tell me an example. Uh -huh. Samuel said, I am the neighbor. Tell me. Uh huh. Do you play an instrument? I play the guitar. The guitar? Yeah, the guitar, the guitar, and, and the other is a, a flow. A flute? A flute. A okay. Flute. That, that is the two, the two instruments. But not after midnight? No. <laughs> no, on the... Uh, and with a microphone. <laughs> and with a yeah. big, big... Uh, sometimes, 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 <laughs> sometimes. Sometime. Okay. No, not always. What would you do, guys, in this case? What would you do if you had a neighbor who plays the saxophone or the, I don't know, an instrument after midnight and you're trying to sleep and he's like, you know, playing his instrument? What would you do? And you cannot sleep. What would you do in this situation? I'm trying um, to talk with them. Okay, you would talk to them first? You would talk to them, okay? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. First, call, call the police. <laughs> or call the or call the police. I, no, but first I I I try to to talk with with them with, with them first. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Yeah, to ask to ask her to I don't know find more a more suitable time to 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 play the the, the piano. I don't know mm -hmm. maybe in the Very afternoon good. or something. Or at a different schedule. Very good at a different Perfect, schedule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super. Thank you. Okay, continue reading, Antonio, your second scenario, please. Okay, the family across the street never cleans up their yard. The garbage blows into the into your yard. Ah, okay. What would you do in this case? It's, it, it's more, it's more, uh, of the same, like try to, to talk with the neighbor and say like, hey, uh, can you please clean up your mess because the garbage mm -hmm. is blowing into my yard and it will be nice that that wouldn't happen. <laughs> what would be a plan? Okay, so after talking, if that doesn't work, a plan B, you call the police, that didn't work, what's your plan C? Uh, I think you can, you can sue with with, with with some kind of um i don't know how to say it but uh it's like a kind of institution that is in charge of 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 
of I, I don't know of take take care that <clears throat> that the environment yes. it is it, like clean or something. Actually, in El Salvador, um, you can go and and put some kind of zoo to a you certain can. person and 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 um, and uh, uh, the Ministry of Medio Ambiente can like. Uh, the, like give uh, some, some 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 kind of um it's called yeah, file, file a complaint file, file a complaint yeah mm -hmm. file a complaint okay and, and, yeah and they file can, a complaint. Mm -hmm. yeah and they like uh they can they can issue some kind mm -hmm. of note for that person they they make like three uh notices mm -hmm. and if the the person like mm -hmm didn't do a thing to resolve the issue then they're, they're in trouble actually. okay okay thank you yeah you can actually go it, what people do it well at least in my neighborhood i've been living here for all my life so i'm 40 so i met it um <clears throat> but a lot of people what they have done with things like that is like this neighbor that i was telling you that wow she she's she just don't like i'm not gonna complicate myself if, if i don't know the person living next to my house I'm just going to sweep her, you know, it's just going to take a broom, her, her trash. It's just going to take me like five minutes. And, and, you know, it's like that some neighbors are like that. Some neighbors are different. It's like, she doesn't really take it personal. She just goes ahead and, and brooms the trash of the trees, etc. Some people make borders like little, I don't know, like little hills of cement between the houses to avoid the, the leaves going, I don't know, everybody has a different approach and a different way of, of dealing with it, difficult situations or difficult neighbors because not everybody is open to feedback, right? Not everybody's open to listen to, hey, you know what, please, you know, so not everybody's open to listen to something negative about their house or about their trees or about what's going on with their pets, etc. right? Okay, let's go with yeah, the uh, so, some, Sometimes can, can be a, a, a little tough because mm -hmm. um, in, 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 in the small uh, towns, um, people tend to burn the garbage uh, and, and that's very annoying. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, and, so, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes uh, they're not like uh, very open to to talk about that or, or to change their behavior, mm -hmm. uh, even though you're you're telling them that they're better way you know, to to treat that 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 garbage. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it, it it's kind of it's kind of an issue. Yeah, sometimes. it's it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, our next one, please, Antonio, continue reading the guy. <clears throat> The guy next door? Or Marisela, if you want to continue reading, the guy next door? Okay. The guy next door always parks his car in front of your driveway. Okay, continue reading. Mm -hmm. Have things? Have, have things like this ever happened to you? If so, you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they doing these things to me? Okay. Continue. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Who wants to help me read the next paragraph? Can I read? Sure, of course. Go ahead. Uh, these days, many people don't know the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we share a friendly <clears throat> wave or say hello, but hello? a lot of people know. But a lot of people don't even know their neighbor's name. When you don't know someone, it's easy to build, build up frustration and resentment. You think maybe they like to annoy me or maybe they don't, maybe they do it deliberate. I don't know how to say it. Deliberately. 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 Very good. Okay, thank you. So it happens, and it happens, especially with the new generations. I'm not saying I'm, I'm already 40, but then like the new generations, for example, next door, 
it's a big house in where a kids, I would say kids because they're kids for me, kids that go to the university rent. They come from the in, you know, from a lot of them come from Chalatenango, the majority, Aguilar is in Chalatenango, and they rent next door because they study at the National University and it's really close to the National, I live really close to the National University. Long story short, I don't know their names because I don't see them. And I spend a lot of time here, but I don't see them as much because they're always one and then comes another, you know, so they're always renting the place different of, you know, but they're all family. What I'm trying to say is that it also has to do with generations, right? Our generation was taught that you have to say good morning, good afternoon, good night, and then, and then the values along the way start falling down, right? So not everybody has the same values that we had maybe 10 or 15 years ago. There are different generations and in a way we have to adapt to the new generations. But the best way to adapt to them is just to lead by example. So if we want them not to park in front of our houses, we don't do the same thing with others, right? So it's like setting up the example for them. It's like, I don't know. And I guess the approach has a lot to do with it. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but um, Zoom has just crashed for me. I don't know if anyone else is like experiencing some kind of issue with the, uh, with the software, with the program. Mm. No. Not, it's okay. Uh, yeah, because uh, it's reloading. Yeah, you, yeah. Uh, after I I finish uh, speaking. Ah, I couldn't listen to you. Uh -huh. Yeah, you 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 just well, I I I I saw that you just like got freeze, and then Zoom just crashed, and then okay. I got to yeah, and then I got to 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 restart the. the <laughs> The program but I, I i thought it was something that everyone was, was experiencing okay maybe yeah sometimes it happens that internet connection now that we're everybody's at home zooming yeah. <laughs> classes yeah. and everything um but so going back to to this is it i think it's a matter of generations but i don't know what you guys think about this does it have to do also the type of generations that we are there's more youngsters and we are living in a different generation what do you guys think in regards to values and being a good neighbor. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm think sometimes um, as the society moves forward, some behaviors are associated with uh, with a very I don't know um, I don't know how to say it, but when you are demasiado conservador, conservative. Uh -huh, when you're conservative? Yeah, Very when you're conservative, conservative and and they they think that all the behaviors associated with the with the conservative um, way of being is is all bad. Mm -hmm. But 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 in fact, there's a lot of things that are, are actually very positive, mm -hmm. like greet the people in in the in the street. But it's something that you can see uh, in 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 old people from like 50 to 70, 80 years old, and you can go out and walk the street, and people didn't even uh, watch each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. That's true. It's it's true. It's it, it goes according to our generations then. So uh, people and and then again, patience is a, another factor. People are not being patiently enough like before. Why? Because we're always under stress due to situational events in our life. So I guess that has to do. If you had a bad day, you come home and some then a neighbor comes up to you and says, you know, this and this is up. Then because you have you you're coming from outside with a bad temper then you're like no right now is not the moment and you explode and maybe it's not your neighbor's fault and it was not what he said or she said it was just the fact that you had that outside experience that made you react like that right so sometimes outside but, but, situations also affect you mm -hmm. but you know something uh when you go to to another country um uh, you might see that the people, uh, it's not that way. They they actually greet to you in the, in the street or or 
every time that mm -hmm. I don't know you 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 cross with with someone and it's not the same behaviors everywhere yeah there, there, yeah, there's right. still there, there's still plen plenty of, of, of places where they they still have that that kind of uh, of I don't know of behaviors or or values I don't know how, how to call it values uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. values yeah, and it's it's a cultural matter too. It's something really related to culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So let's continue reading. Brenda, would you like to help me read, please? Believe it or not. Okay. Uh, let me make some. <laughs> okay. Believe it or no, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you. Often, they don't even know that they are getting you. I mean, getting on your nerves. So before you take extreme measures to fix the problem, you should discuss it with them first. Okay, thank you. Joanna, would you like to help me read? Or Luis? Okay. Uh, when you approach your neighbor, you should talk to them uh, in a friendly, in a friendly manner. Okay. Uh, uh, compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Uh, they uh, then explain the situation, and if you can think of a simple solution, guess it. Suggested. Okay, thank you. Suggest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And lastly, Flora, could you help me read the last paragraph, please? Okay. If talking doesn't work, ask another person to help. This person can listen to both sides of the right. store and and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. Finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem, depending on the issue. You say issue, issue, issue. issue. Mm -hmm. It means by best to use a style out of your neighbor's ways. Very good, thank you. Okay, so now that we read a little bit about neighbor versus neighbor. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna pair you up so you can answer the exercise that comes after the reading, okay? So let me go ahead and do that so we can jump into another exercise really quick after this. Um, let me see, let me. Please accept to accept your invitation. Remember your exercise is 1.11, okay? I'm gonna write it here. Okay, so remember to do exercise 1.11, okay, guys? If you want, one of you can share the screen that way, or you can do it together just going over the different questions. We just have six questions to resolve, okay? Okay. It is okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Hi, Flor. Hi, Luis. Uh, if you want to... Some pronunciation, some... Teacher, it's... hello. Hi. It's exercise 1.11, okay? Oh, okay. On the platform, One. the reading comprehension, 1.11. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll be One back with you. You're welcome. Right now. Right now. 1.11. Hi, guys. Remember, Katie and Antonio, it's exercise 1.11, okay? Yes, thank you. Okay, super. 
you're already there, Katie. Hi, Brenda and Luis. Just a little reminder, it's exercise 1.11, okay? So you guys can work together. Yes. Okay, Thank super. You. Okay. Thank you. Just let me share my screen. Just a Hi, Samuel. And I have Samuel and Hi. And Asus. I don't I don't know what <laughs> Asus is. Hello. I listened to you far away again. I'm sorry. I okay. Um, Samuel, can you listen to him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Samuel can listen to you, so you can two work together. Okay, it's it exercise one point eleven on the platform. Okay. Okay. Okay, super. If you want someone share your screen, so you can both work together. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, annoy. Teacher, yes. Uh, um, I would say I rate it. I rate it. Oh, okay, thank I you. I rate it. Yes. Okay, thank I, you. I rate it. I rate it. I'm gonna write it down on the group. Well, we're gonna do the pronunciation after the exercise. Mm -hmm. but okay, I rate, okay. I will write it. Okay. Uh, I think is mm, bother and uh, annoyed. 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 Brother I, or annoyed? I don't know really. Let me see. Mm. I think this is the, the correct. Mm. You said brother or annoy. Uh huh. Okay. I think okay. It is Okay, okay, let's continue if you wanna. Okay. Measure. Uh, mm. Measure. Measure. Measured. M measured. Mm -hmm. I'm writing the pronunciation on the group so, so you can actually see it. It's okay. measure, measure, measured. Measure. Okay. Measure. Mm. The measure. Uh, I think I step taken in order to achieve something. Can uh, what mm -hmm. that mean in Spanish? For that Which reason, one? was difficult to me. Which one? Yeah. Uh, and uh, irritate. I read it. I read. I read it. I read it. <laughs> I read it. Yes. Yes. Uh, measure. What do you measured. think? Mm. It is a step taken in order to achieve something. Measure. 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 Um, yeah, my. Measure is. I like. Measure in Spanish is. Like medida. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Years ago. Oh, good. Yeah. And you? Very recently, but yeah. What is your profession? A financial analyst. Can you repeat that? I'm a financial analyst. Oh, really? Where yeah. do you work? Where do you uh, work? Teacher, teacher, ju ju just in case you're guessing, uh, we're already uh, done with the exercise. Oh, okay. We got 34 out of 34, so. Super. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry, I'm just waiting for the rest of the guys to finish their exercise too. Yeah, and now we're just like, like. Uh, that's good, get to know each other, of course. Yeah. 
yeah, kill, killing the time by, by knowing each other. Where do you work, Antonio, as a financial analyst? Uh, I'm freelance. Oh, okay. Uh, I was working on, uh, on a corporation uh, like almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. and then I launched myself as a freelance uh, financial advisor. Super. Nice. Good luck yeah. with that then. Yeah, it's t tough times, but, but yeah. Okay. Katie, what about you? What's your profession? Oh, I am a teacher. Oh, you're a teacher. Nice. What type of teacher? Yeah. Math teacher, social studies teacher? Uh, no, soy licenciada en educación básica. Uh -huh. Primero y segundo ciclo. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Super. Yes. Okay. I'll check on the rest of the guys and I'll see you in a bit, okay? Okay. Hi, hello. What happened to your partner? Okay, guys. Hello. Are you, I'm back. You're back too, right? All of you? Okay, yeah. I see you all. So, let's go over the answers, but first I did send you the, the pronunciation from some of the words. So, let's do the pronunciation first. That way you know how it's pronounced. For example, the first one is resentment. Resentment. Yes, resentment. So, the E becomes like a E, so it's resentment. Mm -hmm. Not resentment, but resentment. Okay? What is resentment? It's anger that grows over time. Okay, anger that grows over time. Our next one was deliberately. In English, long words, you make them shorter. Okay, like chocolate, you don't say chocolate or chocolate. It's choc chocolate. So it's short. Comfortable, you don't say comfortable, you say comfortable. So long words in English, in a way, you make them shorter, like in this way. Resentment deliberately, okay, not deliberately, no, deliberately, okay. Then we have, which is, I'm sorry, deliberately is on purpose, okay, on purpose. Then we have irate uh, when you're mad, okay, so it's like it's bother or annoy, that's what it means, irate. Then we have measure, 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 which is a step taken in order to achieve something. A step taken in order to achieve something, okay? Then we have after measure, we have manner, manner, manner. What is a manner? It's a way of behaving, a way of behaving. And last but not least, we have resolve, resolve, which is end the problem or difficulty. Do you guys have them all correct? Yes? Yeah. Super. Yes. Yay. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Do you have any questions about book, any other vocabulary word maybe that you saw? Or any other word that you saw on the reading? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm placing the reading right now. That way you guys tell me if there's any other word in the reading that you guys do not know, like any other vocabulary word that's new for you or you just don't know what it is. I'm just gonna give you a couple of minutes for you to go over it. Maybe if you find a new word, let me know so we can go over the meaning of it.
No? No new words? So everything is clear as water or clear as horchata? <laughs> clear now, as water? Please. Yeah. Like water. Like water, super. Okay, so let me go to the next slide because I had like two more slides. Um, <clears throat> and I want you to tell me, do you think a good neighbor always prohibits others to do some things? Do you prohibit your, a good neighbor always prohibits? Don't pay attention to the camping on site. No, just do you prohibit as a good neighbor? Yes or no? What do you guys think? Do what you know mean what pro prohibit? Okay, prohibits is prohibe. Ah, ah, sorry. Prohibits? Okay, thank you. Do you think he prohibits or no? It's a good, do you consider that you are a good neighbor if you prohibit others to do things or no? You can suggest, but you cannot prohibit. You can suggest and tell them, hey, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't park in front of my house. You shouldn't. Okay, but you cannot prohibit because they should already know, right? Mm -hmm. For example, do you think you should tell your neighbors when you're having a party? Maybe or no? it's like an invitation. <laughs> <laughs> For them not to call the police? Okay. <laughs> Why? Why you should tell them? Why do you think you should tell them? Mm -hmm. What's the reason why you should tell a neighbor you're having a party in your house? Nice. Are you there? Creak, creak, creak. I kind of hear like nobody. Am I by myself? <laughs> why do you think you should tell your neighbors? I think that one of the reasons why you should tell your neighbors that you're having a party is if you're going to need extra parking. If you live like in a small place and the sound will eventually get out of your space and uh, affect okay. them. I think just like, hey, FYI, it's my birthday. So I'm sorry if I, okay. I don't know. Just like I'm not having a party just because it's just that you're trying to be nice and at least say, can I use your space just today? Like yeah. it's good to ask permission first, I think. What do you think? You can tell them so so they can prepare for the noise. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so they can get ready for the noise, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's good because then they're not guessing, right? Like they, you know, then they don't get annoyed, and then they were advised in advance, so they have an idea that it's going to, right? What happens when you have you have a you have neighbors that have pets that are very loud all night i'll give you an example and there's nothing i can do and i'll tell you what i'm doing i live behind a farm a big farm but this property it's it's that's behind my house it's abandoned somehow not abandoned but it's yeah it's abandoned i would say and recently the new neighbors in that abandoned house are, I don't know if they're dogs, I'm still trying to guess if they're ducks or if they are geese. I don't know if they're, or even pichiches. I didn't even know if they're pichiches. I don't know if they're ducks, geese, or pichiches. So what happens is that approximately when I finish my last class after 10, I start hearing that quack, quack, quack. <laughs> You cannot stop that. That's something that you can't really stop. So my plan, because I cannot go and talk to the neighbors because there's nobody there. I don't know whose, whose ducks are they or petites or geese. So what I'm doing is I'm get, I get myself, I, get, I got myself plugs, you know, like little plugs like this ones. And I put them and then I fall asleep. That's my plan to avoid the sounds in the middle of the night not to get scared. What would you do in my situation? If you had a dog barking all night or cats fighting on, I don't know, what would you do? In my case, uh, uh, my neighbor next to me uh, have a dog. 
at night, uh, well, uh, in, in my room, is a party for, for many cats. <laughs> okay. Uh, and and uh, the dogs next to me uh, always uh, have a noise bark. at night. Roof, roof. That's ba oh, okay. Bark. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <clears throat> and and the uh, in in my case, um, I don't know really. I I I always I'm so tired at night, and I always sleeping like a baby. So you avoid, it goes to a point that you guys avoid what's going on in your surrounding. You're just like, ah, oh, that's, that's normal. It's part of the family already, right? Right. Okay, so you avoid. So that's your solution to this, to this, um, to, to this situation. You just avoid, huh? Okay. Anybody else wants to comment on this? Pets. Yeah, Are there is, roosters? there is a, that's bother me. That's bother me. I don't have uh, the case, but I can imagine, and I don't like. I hate it. I don't like. Really, I don't. I don't like that. So in the city hall, there are there is a department of um, solution de conflictos. I don't know what that. Ah, okay. Is. Conflict solution department. Conflict solution. Mm -hmm. Conflict solution department mm -hmm. in the city hall. So it's at the city hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the city hall there are it's not department, it's a, a little office in at the city hall. Mm -hmm. So I think that um can be a solution. Uh, uh, they call uh, the both part. Mm -hmm. So and and you can talk about the situation and you, you yes you know something that now that you're saying that i have noticed that animals and this is a pattern because i had the opportunity to visit fureza at night like to camp at fureza uh, yes and and the lions are always awake at night the majority of animals are always awake at night and that's the reason why they sleep during the day so all these animals have active life at night more than, and I was reading an, an interesting article about that, that the majority of animals have more a, a more active life at night than during the day, the majority. So I guess that's the reason why you listen to strange sounds in the middle of the night, roosters like in the middle of the night. And yeah, it's because they have a more active life during at nighttime. In daytime but not the dog ah no not dogs and cat oh, cats yes but dogs no. mm -hmm, maybe right yes so, but yeah. can be a solution i think mm -hmm. it could be a solution yeah true okay well guys it was a pleasure talking to you today about this very interesting topic i thought i was the only one who had situations but no <laughs> like everybody else and I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place, right? Remember that okay. our classes go from Mondays through Thursdays, okay? And then we have Friday off and we see each other next week, Monday. So we have a class tomorrow and then from there we go on till next week, okay? But see you tomorrow, same time, okay? Okay. Okay, okay thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Good night. Thank you. Good Thank night. You, good night. Bye, guys. Nice. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.